This is a list of planets from the Ender's Game series by Orson Scott Card. Topic: <inaudible> Albion. A planet that is briefly mentioned in the short story Investment Counselor. It is home to a woman named Jane whom Ender briefly thought may have created the computer program Jane. Albion is a name for ancient Britain. <laughs> Bea A Brazilian Catholic world. The nearest world to Lusitania with population pressure. They applied to Starways Congress to colonize Lusitania and did so in the year 1886 SC. In Xenocide, Grego mentions that if he had access to faster than light travel then he could go to university on Bea. <laughs> Descolador's home planet The homeworld of the Descoladores, discovered in Children of the Mind. Observing it from afar in an outside capable ship, the ship's riders begin to believe the inhabitants to be Varels, however, after Peter II's equals attack on them, they realized they need to take more time to study the Descoladores. This planet is rumored to be the subject of an upcoming book, Shadows Alive. Equals. <laughs> Topic: <laughs> Divine Wind. Equals. A planet colonized and mostly inhabited by Japanese people, with a large number of tourists. It was one of humanity's first colonies and has a high influence in Starways Congress. Peter Wiggin and Wang Mu came here in Children of the Mind as part of their mission to find the center of power among humankind and to persuade them to stop the Lusitania fleet before it needlessly destroys a world. Lusitania. Divine Wind is the English translation of the Japanese term Shimpu Takotai, more commonly known as Kamikaze. Earth Due to overpopulation, some countries' laws stated that each family could only have two children. During the destruction of the Formics and the subsequent colonization of their worlds, this rule was repealed. It is somewhat more advanced than present day Earth. People are able to travel around in cars that hover over magnetic rails that go at 250 km per hour, for example. However, due to international fleet rule, some nations have declined drastically. One shining example is Rotterdam, a city in the Netherlands, in which children roam the streets fighting each other for food. Later in the series, Earth's first true federation of nations was built by Peter Wiggin. Called the Free People of Earth FPE, Peter Wiggins' Federation led Earth to experience a golden age while he lived. Later, Starways Congress was established, with Earth as the capital and thus one of many important worlds. In the last three books of the Ender Quartet, it is revealed that Earth still holds a place of particular importance. Many notable organizations continue to hold headquarters on Earth, such as the Vatican, numerous large corporations, and Starways Congress.
Topic: Eros. Eros, named after the real-life 433 Eros, is a wandering asteroid where Command School is situated. It was originally a formic colony and the International Fleet lost 1,000 Marines capturing it. Colonel Graf says that they fought for every meter of the place. The capture, however, allows the humans to discover and utilize both artificial gravity and Ansible technologies. Spaceships approaching Eros land on one of three orbital platforms, whereupon passengers are transported to the asteroids in school bus-like spaceships and sucked through tubes in zero gravity to the main colony. Due to the Formix painting it black, its albedo becomes only slightly brighter than a black hole. Humans noted it disappearing from their monitors and sent someone to investigate, which led to a confrontation with the Formix. In Ender's game, Ender Wigan is sent here to attend command school, where he unknowingly defeats the Formix, believing he is playing a space combat simulation computer game. A short civil war takes place on Eros after the Formix are defeated, coinciding with a civil war on Earth. 500 personnel are lost, and the fighting only ended when the Warsaw Pact troops were ordered to kill Ender, and they promptly refused. Eros later becomes the staging area for early human colonies being sent out to colonize the vacant bugger colony worlds. Ender Wigan is seen helping with the refitting of a starship docked at a newly constructed space station. Topic: Formix home planet. After the second invasion, which the humans narrowly won, the international fleet built and sent the third invasion to their planets. In order to fight, the IF decides to use child commanders and pretend that it is just a fantasy simulation. After a number of grueling battles that causes three of the children to collapse, the fleet arrives at the homeworld. Mazer Rackham tells Ender that this is the final battle. Ender, tired of battling, simply decides to use the molecular disruptor device to destroy the world to try to get himself kicked out of school. Apart from the cocoon Ender later found, all the Hive Queens were present at its destruction, which effectively wiped them out, until Ender revived the last Hive Queen on Lusitania. A few years after its destruction, a warship sent as a follow-up if the main fleet commanded by Ender Wigan failed, saw the planet's own gravity well pull its particles back towards itself making a new, smaller planet about 80% of its original size. <laughs> Ganges A colony planet colonized mostly by people from India. The colony was founded and governed by Verlomi, a battle school graduate. The non-Indian minority of the planet resented Verlomi's goddess image, including Randall Firth, son of Bean and Petra, who was raised to believe that he was Achilles de Flanders' son. The founding city in Ganges is called Andhra. The founding of this planet and Ender's activities there are included in Ender in Exile. Lusitania Lusitania is a world first introduced in Speaker for the Dead. K. 
Catholic by religion, Portuguese by language and culture, the planet was colonized by Brazilian settlers from Bahia, which would later convert the alien species living there to Christianity. It is named after the Roman name, in Latin, for Portugal. This planet is inhabited by all three Raman races, the Pecaninos, the Formics and humans. It contains a deadly virus called the Descalada that would destroy the ecosystem of any other planet if it were to spread. The planet's only human colony was restricted in growth so as not to interfere with the Pecaninos. Likewise, contact between humans and Pecaninos was forbidden except for the local researchers. The policy proved unworkable, as the Pecaninos had, early on, discovered how to circumvent the security fence of the colony and had been able to observe humans using technology, including witnessing agricultural practices and the arrival of a space-faring shuttle. The planet was also chosen by the Formic Queen as a good place for re-emergence because of high levels of mineral deposits, permission from the Pecaninos to settle and a lack of human settlement, including blind spots where satellites did not observe. Moctezuma. A Spanish planet where Ender learned to speak Spanish 2,000 years before the events of Speaker for the Dead while speaking the deaths of Zacateas and San Angelo. <laughs> Moskva In Children of the Mind, Jane fakes evidence to make it look like Peter and Wang Mu travel to Divine Wind on a ship from Moskva. See Wang Mu thinks they speak a Russian dialect when Grace talks to them about their home on Moskva. Topic: Pacifica Lumanae. A planet visited by Peter Wigan and C. Wong Mu after their visit to Divine Wind. It has one massive ocean named the Pacific and a few smaller ones between the continents. The islands in the Pacific are inhabited by Pacific Islanders and the mainlands inhabited by minority races. Lumanai is Samoan for the future. Topic Path Path is a Chinese inhabited planet in Xenocide and Children of the Mind. Inhabitants include Han Fei Su, his wife, Zhang Qing, their daughter, Qing Zhao, and their servants, including Qing Zhao's secret maid, Wang Mu. The inhabitants of this planet are divided into two classes normal people and the Godspoken. The Godspoken are actually genetically modified human beings with both superhuman intelligence and a crippling OCD like disease. Any research into this disease would result in the researcher being sent off world. At the end of Xenocide, a newly spawned copy of Peter Wigan bearing Ender's Iowa shows up in the FTL starship controlled by Jane. After dropping off the retrovirus to make everyone on path supergeniuses minus the OCD, he takes the one person who is already in this state, Wang Mu, with him to reunite humanity as hegemon once again. At the end of Shadow of the Giant, it is suggested that the geneticist Volescu, responsible for Bean's genetic condition, has been, or will be, sent off to a colony. 
Since Volescu had previously been developing a means of changing human DNA by means of a virus, not unlike the Descalata in Children of the Mind and Xenocide, it is speculated amongst fans that Volescu may have some connection with the emergence of the Godspoken on Path. Path is the English translation of the Chinese Tao. Reigns In Xenocide, Grego mentions that if he had access to faster than light travel then he could go to university on Reigns, Bea or even Earth. Rav Rav is said to be a planet that Ender governed. It was also where people first saw Ender with the jewel in his ear. Xenocide mentions that it had an abandoned bugger city. This contradicts the story told in Ender in Exile, as Ender is shown to govern Shakespeare, not Rav. Orson Scott Card has since acknowledged this discrepancy, and more recent published versions of both Ender in Exile and Ender's Game identify the planet as Shakespeare. Topic: <laughs> Shakespeare Ender's World. This planet is unnamed in Ender's Game but is referred to as Shakespeare in Shadow of the Giant and Ender in Exile. This planet was a bugger colony about 50 light years from Earth. It is the first one settled by humans. The buggers terraformed a part of the landscape to look like the dead giant from the fantasy game that Ender played in Battle School and hid a hive queen egg here. On this planet, colonists and Ender meet and learn to communicate with formic-like creatures using thoughts and images. The remainders of the creatures indicate that they were a mixed breed that were used to perform mining activities for the Formix. Topic: Sorelladolce. Sorelladolce, meaning sweet sisters. In Italian, is an Italian-speaking planet who is the primary setting for the short story, "'Investment Counselor", which is set 300 years after the events of Ender's Game. During the events, the colony's population is at 4 million, with 1 million residing in the capital city, Donabella, meaning, "'Beautiful Woman". It was one of the few planets that Starway's Congress did not control. In Investment Counselor, Ender and his sister Valentine disembark. Ender has just turned 20 and must pay taxes on his funds. He first approaches a tax man named Benedetto, who discovers that he is Ender the Xenocide. Fortunately, Ender meets Jane, a sentient computer program, who helps him pay his taxes and stops Benedetto from blackmailing Ender. Ender and Valentine leave after ten weeks. Trondheim An icy planet, named after a real-life Norwegian city. Trondheim is Ender's home at the beginning of Speaker for the Dead. When Ender leaves for Lusitania, Valentine stays with her husband on Trondheim. While Ender is on Trondheim, he works as a professor in a local university, discipline not given. Later on Lusitania he mentions to Ella that without the ability to row a boat, you would be as good as crippled on Trondheim. 
The planet is mostly tundra and cold seas, however, the equatorial region can support human life relatively well. The chief industry appears to be fishing and hunting a local seal-like creature. The main religions are Calvinist and Lutheran Protestantism. The planet has not been settled very long, with some dwellings in the main city being modified caves. <laughs> 